warping to Kakariko again? Again? Yep. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Uh, before I get into more heart pieces and stuff like that, let Playmaker 10743 brought something rather interesting to my attention that got me really curious. There is, and I've never seen this before in my other playthroughs because I never looked up there or noticed, there is a treasure chest above the pathway to... See that right there, that little ledge there? To Death Mountain Trail there. And it is a puzzler to get. <laughs> so it, it got me really curious as to how you get that dang treasure chest. There's nothing to bomb. Uh, there's no hidden pathways, no spots to dig through. So how do you get that sucker? Well, I figured it out, and I'm about to show you how. This was really fun to figure out, too, because it was such a puzzler. But basically, you start over here. It involves cuckoo flying, because there's pretty much no other way to get to it, that I know of, at least. And I, didn't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to talk to the sign. I want to hop this gap to get up to the hot springs. There we go. And go all the way up here. Keep going, keep going. Yep, just a little further. Here we go. And in the hot spring, you'll find a cuckoo. It's swimming, and it's very, very happy. That's where why. That's why we're gonna disturb it. <laughs> All right, now from here, see Barnes Bomb Shop down there. Aim for that spot right there. And fly to it! Whee! Oh, this is just overkill. I could fly over the uh, railing if I needed to. Alright, now that you get to here with a cuckoo, go up even higher. As I said, you need a cuckoo to fly to that chest. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> it's a long journey. Alrighty. Now from here, look around the corner. The camera swing it around. There you go. See the treasure chest? That's it right there. That's where you want to aim. So adjust the camera accordingly and jump! Glide all the way over. Keep going, keep going to here. And that's how you get it. What's inside? A whopping 100 rupees. Well, it's an orange rupee. And there you go. That's a rather tricky chest to figure out, I have to say. But it was it was fun trying to do it, though, because this this place is kind of like a puzzle in a way, in you know, and how you have to get this chest. Well, back to more heart piece side quests, and I did not mean to pull out my fishing rod. The next location you're going to is the Elden Bridge. Yeah, you remember the Elden Bridge, the bridge we've been to many, many times over. Well, let's go further down the path now that the twilight. Thank you! And now that the twilight is cleared up, and just keep following this trail. Keep going, keep going. I'm showing you this to show you the place that I'm going to. <laughs> and eventually you're gonna come across. I wonder if I should transform into a human because I need the spinner for this. But I'm going to loop around here just to show you the area a little further. This is. Just the way back to that spot. I don't know why that's there, but yeah. <laughs> I figured I would draw the spot on the map there to show you, just for the heck of it. But that that's not the thing that I'm looking for. The thing that I'm looking for is... Uh, right here. Should probably kill off these guys, otherwise they'll really be in my way. Can't finish them off, that's, that's kind of odd, but whatever. You too, definitely you too. Come on, revive yourself. There we go. <laughs> and whoop, heart. Alright, back to a human. And... I got rid of the horse whistle. Spinner! Whee! Keep following it, keep following it. Obviously, this is the only way to get here. Now, once you get here, you're going to find that it's a dead end. Or is it? There is a circle of grass here. Hinting that there's something. Oh, 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 would you look at that? There's nothing else here except this. 
I wonder what it leads to. <laughs> oh, jeez. Staphos. I forgot you guys were down here, so I need to be a human. And once you defeat all the enemies, you'll get a chest. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, you have an iron shield. That's kind of a problem. The other one I can kill, though, pretty easily. How about I... Like that. Aha! <laughs> no. Oops. Did not mean to do that. I want to plop... Oh, that worked. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and I'll keep you guys by the bomb, because why not? <laughs> that worked awesome! Maybe I should just use bombs to take care of the staff holes from here on out. It's kind of wasteful for, you know, the bombs and, and whatnot, but whatever. Alright, let's get the chest. And roll our face right into that chest. And then get a heart piece. Woohoo! And I should probably clear out some poop in this area just for the heck of it. Because why not? Just to see what the the treasures are about. I need to get some rupees back to repair that cannon anyway. Because I spend so much so many rupees on roll go! And I really shouldn't have done that. I should have stopped when I hit 200 rupees or so, you know, be because I have I need two, I need 300, excuse me, to repair that cannon. And well, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to rupee grind, I think maybe, or maybe this chest here will contain much riches. No, it just gives me bombs in case I need them for the staff holes, which is kind of handy. I'm never worried about running out of. Um, limited use items like the, well, I mean, you know, inventory items like the bow and arrow or the bombs, because the game is very good about giving you what you need in an area in order to progress in it. Like, I need the bombs to defeat the staffles. They gave me bombs in that treasure chest that was hidden in the grass. Alright, I guess that's good enough clearing out. I'll see you at the next location. Whee! My god, this Castle Town warp point is like the central hub of collecting things. So you want to warp over there, and remember that blocked path that you've seen down the route to Lake Hylia over there? Well, we're gonna go delve down it and figure out the puzzle over there to get yet another heart piece. And transition, which is actually kind of a loading screen, a fancified loading screen between areas. And I'll kill you, why not, or at least stun you. And how, how about I do this? I, I was gonna do that finishing blow while, while I was down on the ground. Like, I was gonna transform forms, like, damage it with the wolf and then kill it with Link, but too late. Yeah, it was too late, but whatever. Throw a bomb up there, and blow out the way. For some reason, that this explosion opens up the entire area, even though the explosion radius is definitely not large enough for that. <laughs> Anyway, now you want to follow this path. See that? It just got drawn on the map there. If you didn't, rewind the video a little bit there. This is a new path I didn't show before. I'm going to attempt to connect all the paths on the map. You know, just to complete the map per se, like show you everything and whatnot. And look at this! It's another spinner track! But... It kind of ends here. <laughs> I, I don't even understand why the spinner track is here, actually. Uh, unless it's just there to speed things up, like you just whee, zip through here like that, and then just keep zipping through here on the, on the spinner track and whatnot. Yeah, I guess this is like a spinner track area of sorts. And over here leads to the other portion of Hyrule Field up there, in case you didn't see that. Look at that, see the transition of light on the map there? Ooh! Looks like I won't be low on rupees after all to repair the cannon. Nice prizes. And this is... over here. Just want to show you where, where this is first. It is right here on the map. And this leads, this pathway leads back to that portion. Alright, now we go back over here and solve the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> and you definitely need the spinner for it. I have to find the right track. I think it's this one here, actually, that I need to use. Then I have to jump between tracks. I guess we will find out! Whee! 
to set your reaction time. Holy poopers! <laughs> oh, jeez! Craziness! Scary! Holy poop! This is awesome! <laughs> keep following it, keep following it, and here you are! <laughs> so much fun! And you get another piece of heart for your troubles. And that's pretty much this little side path here. Definitely worth coming through here, because it's just so much fun to navigate. And there's another Lizophos. <laughs> Next location! Now we're at Lake Hylia. I didn't really explore this place all that much when I was here the first time, so you might have missed a couple of spots. But I'm gonna get them now. Uh, what you want to do first is go back over to the Spirit Spring. Which is over here. And go inside up. Uh, not talk to the sign, go inside. <laughs> There's actually something in here if you act if you if uh, I mean if you explored this place before, I'm gonna give you a little roundabout tour of this place because why not? Yeah, oh, 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 wait, 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 no. Uh, actually, this is the path that I'm looking for. I wanted to go to the dead end path first, but ah, well, whatever, this is fine. Uh, claw shots. And get yourself up here. Whew. It's like a mini dungeon of sorts, letting you go all around this place. And this door here. Leads you to a couple of treasure chests, and you'll notice that there's some lanterns to light as well. Which I'll be doing in a second, of course. That's nice, I suppose. Oh. Yeah, I have so many items, <laughs> I'm, I'm sifting through them every time I get to this thing. I mean, whenever I go to the inventory screen. Voila! Put that away because I'm kind of low on lantern oil. And there's another piece of heart. Sweet! So that's how you get that one. I'm gonna explore this area a little bit more because why not? Sounds like a fun idea if you ask me. <laughs> and there's these things over here. I'm not I'm not exactly sure what they are or what they're supposed to be. I've tried figuring that out before. It appears to be some sort of creature, but can't see what I mean. Yeah, I, I don't know who they represent. Maybe, oops, maybe they mean, I mean, they're the spirit spring or whatnot. Um, why don't I go underwater and explore that a little bit for the heck of it as well? Water bombs. I go here, Zor armor, back. Underwater we go! Whoa, 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 is that? Well, that's kind of mean. Because <laughs> you, you have to land on top of the bolt, the boulder like that to get this chest. And it's a yellow rupee. Looks like I'm going to have plenty of rupee for, rupees to uh, repair that cannon after all. And get on top of this. Oh, oh almost missed it. It, it, the water controls are kind of finicky because it's like slow motion, slow motion reaction. There I go, and I know that boulder is bombable. So, explodey, explodey it goes, as is the nature of a rock of its type. And I am rich again. <laughs> Shoes off. Shoes on. This is the water temple all over again. No, no, it's definitely not the water temple from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Never confuse that place for underwater in this game. <laughs> and I think I got everything underwater here. I think. So I'm just gonna leave. And show you the rest of Lake Hylia. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wrong path. Wait, wait, no, it is the right path. So both can uh, lead you up there to where the heart piece is. I thought one was a dead end and one wasn't, but I guess not. Now! 
oh, more Lake Hylia exploration here. There, because I didn't really show this place off all that much, I'm gonna give you the run around, I suppose, and show you this place and how it is. I'm not gonna do the, um, that fruit challenge, you know, that bird that's in the middle of the lake that's just wandering around there. And I'm not going to do the uh, rafting challenge just yet because b both those challenges cost rupees every run and I'd like to save them for the um, uh, the cannon right now. I'll do both those mini games in one part later, but as of right now I'm not going to. I'm just going to wander around this beautiful area. Ah, uh, the sunrise. So peaceful. So calm. Always stop to admire the beauty. No, not the perfect. Why did you jump in the water, Link? Why? <laughs> I wanted to jump the gap, not jump in the water. Let's try this jump again. <laughs> there we go. I knew it wasn't that hard. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Anyway, I keep following this path. See that? Over there? I think you know what it is. I completely forgot to get that when I went up to the tower before, but that's okay. I don't know how I forgot about that, but whatever. Can I? I think I can make that jump. Please don't jump in the water! <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I should like transform into Wolf Link just for the heck of it. And... Wait, isn't this something... No, that's not. I guess around this area I'm looking for a cave as well. That's got a rock that's bombable. It's up on the path. You'll you'll know it when I I mean I'll know it when I see it, but I just don't quite remember the location. Why did I do that? I just kept rolling. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter anyway, because that's not the path that I needed to take anyway. Th that That's where the cannon is, if you recall. You actually want to take this bridge. So I took a wrong turn there, but whatever. Climb this ladder. I, I can't believe I forgot the howling stone over here. But first, I'd like to get to... Ah, that's what I'm looking for, right there. This cave. I knew I'd know it when I seen it. And oh, I got my lantern out. Never mind. There we go. Let's go inside. And maybe I should. Wait, not that. I should take off my armor because it's weak against fire and ice. And I don't. I don't exactly remember what's inside this cave. Definitely a lantern cave. But you don't really need your lantern all that much in these places, do you? Well, maybe you do. Like for that. Now wait a second. Oh, these are bombable. Okay, I, I knew I knew something seemed a little odd here. Uh, I shouldn't be using water bombs. I should be using regular bombs actually, because water bombs have less capacity. Okay. Which path? I'll take the left one first. Yeah, you can see. Oh, is that a, another rare chew? Or is that just a lantern chew jelly thingy? Hold on. I think it's just a regular lantern chew jelly, the yellow kind. Yeah, it's just a regular yellow. So, uh, as I said before, they, the game tends to give you what you need so you don't have to worry about running out of poop. Like that. <laughs> Very handy. All right. Boop. Uh, a lot of stuff to bomb in this place, I have to say. But I will explore all the paths just because. Boop. Yeah, just a chest in this corner, I suppose. It has a decent amount of riches, I guess. <laughs> Um, okie dokie. Now this path, or this dead end, <laughs> whatever it is. 
Ah, it's a good thing I took off the tunic because these enemies would have. They would do a lot of a lot more damage if I was wearing the Zora tunic instead. And there's a pole, which I will graciously grab. Whoop. And one more hit. Voila! Delightful. And back to a human. I wonder how many split paths are in this area anyway. Because it seems like there's a lot of places to bomb, and yeah. Because there's this one here, there's, there's a couple back there, and... This could take me a little while to explore, actually. <laughs> It's like a mini dungeon in on itself, but I'll do it as efficiently and as organized as I possibly can. And whoa, 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 dear Lord, down is death. <laughs> I should not wildly roll when I don't know that a hole is coming. <laughs> then again, I suppose that's the idea, you know, these sort of traps. Alright, and it's- oh god. <laughs> no, you not- I don't want to replace the lantern, what am I thinking? I don't need the boots. And I'll wait for the eye to go around on the Beemos. Good. And how many more paths are around this area? <laughs> I bet they're gonna, like, lead to the same area, I hope. <laughs> dead end treasure chest. Once I clear out the area, it'll be really easy to check back, you know, all the other spots that I've been at already, because I don't have to bomb things as I go and whatnot. I should put away the lantern. It's bright enough for me to see. Hmm. Probably should light these, though. This might be what I'm looking for. This is why I was light, lighting all the lanterns along the way. Guess we'll see. And I get a heart piece? No, it's an orange rupee. Dang it, there's a heart piece in here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get some more lantern oil. Just because. Just for safekeeping. Well, it's yellow chew jelly, but it functions as lantern oil. Whoop. <laughs> You know what, I'll fill that up right now, and then get another one. Once the bomb explodes, that chew. There we go. And the path is open, but is there any other paths? Yes, there is! Oh my god! <laughs> How many more paths? What are we, what are the- oh, I see. I was wondering what they were there. I couldn't tell if they were a flying enemy or if they were a, a hopping enemy at first. Mm. And inside this chest, my god, my wallet's gonna be full. <laughs> it's only got a capacity of 60. I mean, I mean 600, but why did I say 60? Okay. Mm Three more paths. <laughs> my god. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to take that long. I forgot how large this place was. And throw it there. I might have to go dump some rupees, actually. You know, pay off the uh, Goron. Or at least, I should say the... Um, Mallow, so he can buy out the Mart in Hyrule Castle Town. Oh, thank God for the extra bombs. I didn't want to go to Barnes to buy some. <laughs> um, that's that's an exit, but I don't want to do that. I can go around it though to to check it out though. But I, if I jump on top of the rock, it'll it'll kick me out of the place, and I don't want to do that just yet. Okay, a thin pathway. If you didn't see that. Maybe I should have the lantern oil just for you, at least. I have enough lantern oil. 
The goo. Uh, any more? No? I hear keys. I don't know which path they are, but I hear keys. <laughs> oh, it's that way. Okay. I'm just gonna do them. My god, how many paths are here? <laughs> I don't think this is the hard piece. No, it's not the hard piece. And my wallet's almost full. Maybe I should use the exit to get out of here and then come back to this spot and, you know, fill my wallet with more rupees after I pay. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm coming to the end of it? Because there's still this split path way, 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 way back at the beginning, and yeah. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, trying to surprise me, huh? This, this is going to be another long part. I'm trying to avoid making long parts because, you know, I don't want to get people backed up on parts because I know people, you know, have only so and so much time to watch so and so many minutes of videos as well have 24 hours in, the, in a day like everyone else. But wow, this, this place is turning into... <laughs> Quite the dungeon, I have to say. Oh, well, it's, it's more like a mini dungeon, lantern cave of sorts. Another bow. I'm gonna light some more stuff. And oh, more paths. More paths. Something tells me that the path at the beginning was a um. Like those two split paths led to dead ends or something. I bet the easiest way to do to get that would be to um while it's almost full. Would be to go to the beginning of the dungeon and yeah, my wallet's full. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna warp back over to Kakariko and I can't warp in here. Maybe that's what that exit is for, because this place gives you load of booty. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wait, actually, if I jump down here, wouldn't that take me back to the beginning? That would be very handy if it did. Yes, thank you! <laughs> I used my noodle! Okay, I'm gonna deposit... like 300 rupees. Well, I'm gonna donate 300 rupees to that Goron. Because I'm sure I'm gonna have enough pocket change to pay for the cannon now. <sighs> this place is long! <laughs> Alright, let's pay off the guy. And then be the guy. I don't know if you're going to get that referenced. <laughs> I'm just going to show you how much you have to donate to this place. I don't think I showed the amount before. You've got even more than last time. <laughs> Believe it or not. Talk to him, and he'll be like, Thanks to all the bridges built, the tree road is secure, and we save money for the economic development of Castletown. But in order to reach our castle town development, we still need 200 rupees. Please help us bring relief to the people of Castletown. Uh, yeah. So, we give him 200 rupees. I th Actually, I thought... I needed to give him like 2,000 rupees. Maybe I did something that was able to save money or people actually did donate or something? Because I don't think there's there's more that I need to give him, but only 200... Wow. <laughs> I, no, that, that can't be. What did I do to... Pay off the thousands upon thousands of rupees. Is there like some special trick that I completely didn't? D what? <laughs> I'm baffled because I I thought you needed like thousands more rupees to pay him off, but I'm pretty much done. <laughs> 
Not, I, huh. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go back to that lantern cave and look up that thing a little bit later. Because my calculations were clearly off. Oops, wrong location. Alright, see you back at that cave. And here we are, back at the entrance. I see that the stuff that I lit and blew up are still okie dokie, so... Yeah, this, this was a dead end that was here before. Oh. Now he's stuck on the wall. That works in my favor. Yeah, I, I'm completely baffled. I, I thought I needed to pay off more rubies to take over that shop, but he already took over the shop. <laughs> I could have swore it was like 2,000 more rupees, and yeah, this is a dead end here. Should have checked them a little bit earlier. But I took the proper path, the first path. Alright, now I'm going to go all the way back over to here. And yeah, cutting time. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> All right, we are back on the trail. Now I can get this chest, which had the purple rupee that I couldn't pick up before because my wallet was full. And we are golden. And we can continue on further through the cave of no end. <laughs> Thank you for the extra bombs! I definitely need them. I mean, this place has multiple dead ends that you need to blow apart to even get to, and they contain treasures of awesomeness. Can't believe I was worried about money. I forgot how, how much this game gives you pocket change. Swing around back. Good! Plop that there, plop that there, put that away, because I'm running low on lantern oil. Oh, actually, forgot I had that. Good! Guess I don't have to worry about that after all. That looks like another path. Here's another dead end, which means it contains something good. Seeds! Who uses their slingshot anymore at this point in the game? I mean, seriously, I haven't touched a slingshot since I got the bowl. <laughs> I guess that's there just because. Maybe they want to throw all, all the collectibles, I mean, all the replenishables you can get in one area or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, is it? No, that corner is inter interconnected. Ooh, that's a lot of keys. Jeez, there's a lot of rupees in this place. <laughs> wow! I'm glad I came through here. But I hope I don't fill up my wallet all the way again. That would... I'm going underneath the pathways now. How... How long does, does this thing go? <laughs> my god! And there's another pole coming up as well. Careful. And, and this is kind of treacherous as well, because if you don't realize, if you fall down one of these holes, you have to go all the way back to the start of this lantern cave. Unless you use one of the exits, of course. Wait, actually, if you use one of the exits, where, where do they take you out to? Because I, I remember when I came through here before, I wanted to see the end of it, but I never tried any of the exits before. So there's another pole, and I think, I think this is the end. Please be the end. <laughs> yeah, this is the end. And this contains, <laughs> it's a hard piece. There we go. All right. Now let's see where this, where these exits lead us to. If you use these things, they probably just take you right outside the cave. 
Or is there a hole that they pop you out of above the cave? Nope, right outside, okay. I guess that's where... And that's perfect, actually, because I need to go to that Howling Stone. I mean, this is gonna be the last thing I'm doing in this part, I promise! Yeah, listen. I'll watch it one more time. Okay, I think I got it. Wait, actually, no, 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 wait. It's down, middle, up, down, middle, down, up. There we go. I believe that is the Goron Lullaby from that Zelda game which name should not be spoken, known as Majora's Mask. Oh, I said it! Why did I say it? Duh. How could I do such a thing? The game is unspeakable. <laughs> Alright. Listen. Howling under a moon. A wolf's true instinct. <laughs> I know where it is. It's at the Arbiter's Grounds. Well, it's it's near the path to the Arbiter's Grounds, excuse me. Let's just show you the location, then I'll go cut to that spot. See there it is. That's that's where that camp was. This is the Arbiter's Grounds right here, and in front of it is that camp. And there's the wolf, so I'm going to warp over here and then travel the usual path until I get to the wolf. Almost there, almost there. Climb up here. And I'll make right. Remember that I said that there wasn't really anything down this path before? Well, now there is. Oh, wait, I forgot. You gotta, you gotta be human before you approach him. He's like, you don't have thumbs. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna make fun of you. Alright, here we go. Last thing I'm doing this part. Let's do it! And after this, there's only one more secret ability that you can get. Uh, wait, they're called hidden skills, excuse me. The last one's in the hidden village. I'll get that one when I clear out the hidden village in general. Indeed. Two. <laughs> Yes. For I must 100% this game at all costs. Alright, actually you have to put away the, the sword. And then... Oh, wait, wait, that's right, you can't... You can't Z-target. I forgot about that, what's wrong with me? Now, draw. <laughs> I always forget that! Ah, I, It's not a skill that I use all that often, because I'm used to uh, Z-targeting. I'm, I'm just so... It's, it's ingrained within me. <laughs> Alright, jump strike. Let's do it! I swear I'm gonna flub every single one of these, these hidden skills the first time I, I'm gonna learn these in the game. It's just... My instinct takes over every time. <laughs> So, how do you do this? Sounds pretty simple. Just charge with A while locking on. Oh, jeez! Attack of the clones! That's all. <laughs> it's really easy, and it is quite useful, actually. Probably should have got that all set up earlier ahead of time, but ah, whatever. Because if I would have got this when I was at Lake Hylia the first time, I would have been able to come across this hidden skill on my path to the Arbiter's Grounds. But alas, I forgot all about it. <laughs> 
for I am human and I make mistakes too. Yes, I do. And with that, I'm gonna end off this part. Uh, it says on the camera I've been recording for 55 minutes. Oh my god. This is gonna be editing HE double hockey sticks. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.